welcome back in this video we'll discuss about simulator simulation software that that one is our simulation if we click this one it will open the simulation and it will available when you install the symmetric manager professional it will available with the package you don't need to install separately but if you have the basic version of symmetric manager then you need to download and install in separately so how you can find the simulation software go to any browsing software and write plc simulation here i have written already that plc simulation for version 5.6 here if you click here okay it will open the siemens support so site here you can find the software name asymmetric plc sim release version 5.04 update 8 so you can download from here so after install you you will get the logo here so when you click it will open like this here you can see three check box that by default it is in stop mode you can click on run mode and this is run p mode means it will be uh, plc will be run and programming mode okay from here you can see here is the insert input variable output variable memory timer counter today we will use this simulation software because in future in every video we will use this simulation software so we will do simple program and simulate okay here we already made a simple logic with that m10.0 10.1 10.2 okay here i will also use that m sorry here we can use the bit logic from here also from here okay okay then i will use a output okay here i will use i 0.0 i 0.1 sorry i 0.1 and q 0.0 okay now now i will download and check how we can simulate from the simulation software okay to download when you download to real cpu for first time you have to download by just clicking here and download click on this button it will download the hardware configuration of your cpu as well as the program so here i will down click on the download button it will open and asking for permission yes i will give the permission here okay okay it's downloaded and do you want to continue the function yes do you want to start the module now complete restart yes program will be downloaded and it will start here okay now cpu is in run mode run dc 5 volt okay okay so this one is the system fault this one is the dp fault okay puffy was dp fault okay now we'll go to block and here i will open this one and okay i'll 
okay i will open this one okay now okay now see m10.1 is zero and here use nc that's why it is green so here we can force from here just by modifying one but for this one here we can modify this one but it is not modifying okay so how we can modify or how we can simulate here we will use that i 0, 0.0 means it is the left side 0 means it is a byte number and right side 0 means it is a bit number so byte number 0 bit number 0 so here we have take the byte number 0 and this is the bit number 1 so see when i have give a tick check mark here it will true means it is coming from the field but this is the simulation software so we have click on that 0 bit so it used uh, it is like a coming from the field okay and this is the motor run okay so coil here so see it is now qb qb0 means it is byte number 0 bit number 0 here we have used that's why it is tick mark we did not see we cannot remove it because it is written by the program and it is just by mo just monitoring we cannot deselect it if we deselect this one it will disappear from here also okay 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 so okay this one okay now we can here mb01 this is the byte number 10 m10 this is the byte number 10 bit number 0 but here we have taken byte number 0 so how we can take the byte number 10 just write here 10 okay 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 m by 10 okay see bit number 2 is true and 0 bit is true okay bit number 2 is a coil and bit 10.0 if i deselect it it is holding but if i give a 1 modify by 1 10.1 it will deselect okay by this way we will simulate okay in next video we will start the basic programming with a bit logic then computer other program will do one by one